Hi, I'm Melissa Gallagher with Healthy Being by Melissa, and today I want to give you a little snapshot of some great information for our elders. So this is a video about elder nutrition and nutrition for seniors to help support healthy lifestyles for them and to help manage different diseases and degenerative disorders like congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, dementia, Alzheimer's, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis, and a whole assortment of others. So one of the things I want to tell you is a personal story about myself. So when I started my business over seven years ago, one of the things that I did is I moved back home to St. Pete, Florida. And in moving home, I had helped my family out and decided to move in with my grandma, who was then 91, she was almost 92 years old, and her health was failing. Not terribly, but she wasn't of, in the best health state, and she was eating a lot of really highly processed foods. They were high in sodium, and she was on a lot of medications for high blood pressure and insulin shots, and she had a thyroid disorder, and she was on a water pill. And basically, when I moved in, I helped reverse a lot of her issues, and I did that through utilizing nutrition. So. What I want to do, to do today is to talk to you a little bit about some ways that you can help affect either yourself, if you are a senior that's looking for good nutrition tips, or if you are a caregiver, and I can relate to that very specifically. I lived with my grandma for four and a half years, and I know what it's like. So what I wanted to do is to communicate some really great tips and tools and techniques that you can use in your plan uh, working with your senior. So the first thing I want you to do is look at the face. So actually assess the tongue, see if it's red, shiny, if it's moisturized. Look underneath the eyelid, actually pull the eyelid down and assess if it's red. Um, that's going to tell us a little bit more of hydration levels, if there's enough iron in the body. The other thing I want you to do is look at the nails. So check out the nail bed. It's very helpful in assessing and ascertaining mineral balance. Sometimes mineralization or um, deficiencies in minerals will show up in the nails. They look like little white spots or kind of dots. The other thing that I want to focus on is hydration. So this is probably the number one issue when it comes to nutrition. We are not hydrating well, especially seniors that lose the taste buds. So there's a few con challenges that we have. One, lifestyle of some poor habits possibly. The other is taste bud uh, changes that the taste just isn't there and so therefore there's a lack of or interest in consuming foods. The other thing that um, is a challenge is just stubbornness or forgetfulness and those are all real elements when it comes to caring for a senior. So uh, with those set aside, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on some good tips. So there are some core nutrient deficiencies that exist in the normal senior diet. It's B12 folic acid, magnesium, potassium, calcium. Those are absolutely essential to actually get into the diet. So we can do this by incorporating a lot of good nutrients, add some supplements to the diet, come up with some great smoothies, and really introduce some whole foods, fresh, natural, organic if, if it's possible, uh, fruits and veggies. The other thing that uh, we want to look at is adding CoQ10 to the diet of any individual dealing with heart disease. Um, there have been great studies in Japan that are uh, ind indicative of some great success with reversing heart disease. And the other thing we want to look at is adding really good herbs. And we, if you check out the video, I did a video on bitter herbs that are really good for enhancing the appetite that helps the, the palate, the taste that sometimes doesn't exist. But limiting sugar is going to be key, limiting salt, and replacing normal salt intake with a very mineral-rich uh, Himalayan salt, the pink salt. That's absolutely essential. The other thing is to incorporate some really good minerals in the diet through nuts, molasses, and uh, grade B. That's all the dark grade B uh, blackstrap molasses and grade B maple syrup. So those are natural ways to get some good nutrients in the diet. I love to add... Uh, seeds. I like chia seeds, I like flax seeds, and I also really love pumpkin seeds. There's a lot of different ways to incorporate that. I will be doing different videos coming up about some good uh, recipes that I actually manufactured for my grandmother that she loved, and I took some family recipes, doctored them up a little bit, added some really good nutrients, and snuck some really key foods into the diet, and she had no idea that they were just power punch with fiber and good nutrients and minerals. So 
That's the start of our video series. I hope you will like this channel and follow along and I'll be posting another one tomorrow. Thanks. Have a great day.